Three-minute rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Here's our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight encounter. Archer Gorloff, 27 years old, six foot four and a half inches with a 50, 75 inch reach. Yagoyan, 6'2 and 72 inches. Professionally experienced, the edge to Yagoyan, but you're going to see Arthur Gorloff, the power he has, and he has the KO percentage advantage. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a 2015 ISKA heavyweight champion. His record stands at 31 wins, eight losses, two bouts scored even with nine career knockouts. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 208.3 pounds, 94.5 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Armenia, here is Yegish, the Armenian Lion, Yegoyan. His opponent is a WKN world champion who made his debut in Rotterdam at Glory 62. As a professional, 24 wins with eight losses, 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet four and one half inches, 1.94 meters, he weighed in at 209 and one half pounds and even 95 kilos. Fighting out of Latvia by way of Barcelona, Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Arter Gorlaw. And once again, your referee is Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to. Just protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch glove if you like. Back to the corners. Back to the corner. Back. Judge, Arthur Gorloff, Judge. Joe, has been very Judge. frustrated at what's happened Judge. to him in glory Tell so people. far. Ready? Wants to take it out on Yegish Yagoyan. It's Yagoyan in the black gloves, Gorloff in the white. Three rounds, light heavyweight division. Not a good start when you do a 360 into the ropes. Yeah, he stumbled after landing that low kick. Looked like he landed with the foot. Glory debut for Yagoyan. Gorloff looks in fantastic peak physical condition. Good combination work from Yagoyan. Good jab. Gorloff coming off a win outside of glory before that. He was doing very well against Zinedine Hammerlane, and he was disqualified because of an injury that Zinedine sustained when his back bent over the top rope. And then before that, a split decision loss to Luis Tavares, a fight many people thought he won. Right now, good ring control from Gorloff, keeping you going against the ropes. And he's mixing good punch to kick combinations. Up. Got up. Quick. been spoiled by so much action so far, especially in that heavyweight fight, Joe. Yeah. It's almost giving us a little breather here. Yeah. They're going and trying a big uppercut. Up next, our world title fight, Vahitov and Donaghy Vania, light heavyweight championship. You know, Gorloff would love to get a crack at that title one day. Needs to win here tonight for sure. Oh, 
Good combination work from Gorloff. I like that multiple lead hand attack to the low. The left hand that appeared to score. Some blood coming out of the nose now. Gorloff, 10 seconds to go round one. Up. Watch your head. Fight! You have Arthur Koshenko in the corner of Arthur Gorla. Very experienced corner. Fighting out of Latvia. Fights out of Barcelona, Spain. Signature strike, the high kick. Really difficult against a, a pressure fighter like you're going in. So expect him to, to keep up with that ring control as the fight goes on. Yegis Yagoyan won his last fight in February in Russia. And just had a new baby born May 23rd. Leifa, the name of his baby, also has a four-year-old daughter named Luna. Not a ton of action from that round, but I think we found a couple highlights. Yeah, and you saw Yagoyan try to move a little bit more, and Gorlov really snapping that jab and using that ring control, but both have found some success with the low kicks, and this is that combination I liked where Gorlov used two, three strikes off the lead hand. And Yagoyan was... Very candid with us in our interview. Took this fight on short notice and said, listen, I'm not in optimal shape. I've got a three-week-old baby at home. Yeah, you, you knew exactly how tough oh, that was. There's a judge of scores for giving it to Latvia's Artur Gorlov. Low blow there from Gorlov. Gorlov. Good for Kona. That's okay. Yagoyan, born in Armenia. Okay. Time in. Said he was Fight. very poor, not a lot of opportunities. Saw K1 kickboxing tournaments on Japan in the middle of the night. Said he became obsessed with watching them. When he was older, he lived in the Netherlands, had an opportunity to train, fell in love with it. Hasn't been that active. Before his win in February, had a two-year layoff for nearly two years because of an injury. Gorloff now is doing a good job at just keeping his distance, sitting behind a jab and just picking his shots. Back to the low kicks for Gorloff. One of his best strikes so far. Gorlov does like his head kick as his favorite move, so invest in the leg. I'm sure he'll go upstairs eventually. One, two, three from Gorlov. It's a high kick. Gorlov's having is being given plenty of time to kind of pick his shots. You can see him almost measuring up what he wants to do. Yeah, that's what a good jab does for you. You can see Gorlov prefers the leg and body. <laughs> that's not a knockdown. I'm sorry, Artur. <laughs> yeah, but the fact Gorlov has a good jab is what's keeping you going in a way and letting him really mix his kicks and his other hand strikes. Now, peace out. Time. Tobias Gerald, our referee, on top of things. Those guys are sweating as much as the fighters tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I'm up there with everybody. How much I'm sweating. Time in. Fight! It's strange because you're you're pouring sweat in the heat, but you're very cold-blooded. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, wears not one but two jackets in the winter, and he's from <laughs> Canada. Two at the same time. That means I'm efficient, healthy body. Nice body kick there from Gorloff, then downstairs. Yagoyan just not being busy enough. 
No. A slow get up from your going. But is it the fatigue, the short notice fight now? Starting to add up. These are two light heavyweights coming up next, of course. The light heavyweight championship of the world, Artem Bahitov taking on Donaghy Abane. Artem Bahitov! Perhaps, Joe, the best pound for pound stand up fighter in the world today. He just does everything so well. Box at a high level. His kicking is at a high level. And still going light heavyweight champion of the world. He's the number one light heavyweight contender in the world. Donaghy Abena. Abena with the left uppercut. And going downstairs, and those hurt him. Those hurt the bridge. Call me for the belt. For real, huh? Fuck it up. Hashtag grass fuck it up. Third and final round. Let's see what the judges have this bout looking like. Maybe a little closer than I think. Yeah, me too. So Yagoyan can actually still win this fight if he wins the third round. And he is moving backwards, he is throwing as well, but well, in my opinion, it's, it was Gorlov just but, taking control, but judges are seeing it differently. Good low kick there from Yagoyan, and down to the body with the left hand. Well, Gorlov's been frustrated with his success here in glory. He has it in his hands right now. He can go and get this thing Stop. to a man who admits he's not in Stop. the best shape of his life. Well, maybe in Gorlov's mind, it's, you know, he's winning and he's going to take it easy. But Gagoyan picks it up and steals this round. Another unfortunate Stop. ending. For well, if, if his corner Stop. is looking up at the screens, they can see the scores. Head it's off. being broadcast to the start. audience Stop. here in Paris. Low kick there from Gorlov, answered back by Yagoya. Oh, there's some interesting stuff from the Latvian. Double low kick. Yeah, mixing it up now. The low, I feel Gorlov was doing good work with his punches. Seemed to slow down with them. Seems to be, in his mind, scoring better with those kicks. Come on. That did not work for Yagoya. your head post. Whoop! Stop. Fight! Stop! You know, Gorloff is landing those kicks, but he's not putting much behind him. Why do you think that is? Warning. Well, he's no staying cuts. defensive as well because you see a going and countering back right away. So he doesn't want to open up too much. But if he put some weight behind some of those low kicks, I mean, he can be doing a lot more damage because the going's not blocking any of them. So he's able, he should be able to put as much power as he wants behind them. Especially here in the final seconds. You can even see Gorlov using his hands, but Stop. just content to kick. Stop. I give you official warning. Not hitting him after that. Stop. Fight! Stop. And that's it. And another rolling thunder attempt does not work for Yagoyan. But, you know, he may have done enough to win. By the way, the judges have been scoring this fight. The decision when we return to France. From these light heavyweights, Gorlov and Yagoyan. More of a technical fight. Started off with Gorlev really having a good jab, mixing his combinations with his punches and his kicks. But Yagoyan always moving, striking, countering back, really making it a competitive close fight. You know, judges had it even going in to the third round. 
where you're going and trying to get some spectacular offense. Gorloff in that third round really showcased his kicks and level changes. You saw him really attacking with multiple low kicks, but you're going and never out of this fight. Always throwing back, always countering, which made it for a very close decision. Here are the strikes by zone. Gorloff, 61 of 140 total. 59 for 141 for Yagoyan. Statistically, this was really close. Let's see what the judges have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Three of our judges score at 29, 28. The two remaining judges have a 30, 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Arthur Gorlau! Wasn't in the dominant fashion he wanted, but he picks up his first glory win. Yeah, he needs that. And now he can stay and, and really focus on getting these wins behind him because he's a talented fighter and could do well in the division. It's almost go time, ladies and gentlemen. 